Here's a video of us preparing a really lovely Hildoceros ammonite. I'll show you it here first in the snow, then we'll have a closer look at it and get on with preparing it. We've got a lovely ammonite nodule here. We've already exposed part of it with our hammer. A little bit broke off and exposed the outer walls of a Hildoceros ammonite. We're now going to use some of our more precise tools to reveal the entire fossil. I hope you enjoy the video. I haven't made too many fossil preparation videos at the moment, but I'd be interested in making some more in the future if people enjoy videos like this. If so, just let me know in the comments and I can consider making some more. The first thing we're going to do is use one of our bigger fossil preparation tools to remove bulk stone. Once we have the majority of the thickness of the stone removed, we'll be able to finally reveal the actual fossil itself. This nodule is mostly made of pretty soft limestone whereas quite often they have a thick layer of pyrite on them. Iron pyrite makes fossils much more difficult to be prepared. We've stepped down to a smaller pen here as we get closer and closer to the fossil itself. We'll drop down to even smaller pens still once we have further rock removed. Shea is doing the majority of our fossil preparation and in this video in particular he's doing all of it. My dad prepares a lot of our best fossils including the fossil bones and teeth and our rarest ammonites whereas me and Shea and mostly Shea are learning how to prepare fossils. hope you're enjoying the video so far. We've removed quite a lot of stone already but there's still a lot more to do. Whilst this video is only around 10 or 11 minutes long, the reality is that this fossil took around three hours to prepare. So that's quite a lot of time for just pretty basic straightforward fossil preparation. As I've mentioned in previous videos it can easily take upwards of one to two hundred hours for a much bigger, more complex fossil. Starting out by practicing on ammonites is a good idea though, and will help improve our skills, ready to tackle better fossils in the future. You can see lots of bits of rock flying off all over the place in all different angles. It's especially important to wear safety glasses when doing something like this. There's also a lot of dust and other debris generated. Wearing an appropriate face mask is also very much recommended and basically required when doing anything of this kind. As you can see, even compared to just the start of the video a few minutes ago, we've already made so much progress. I cut out quite a bit of the tedious part of the fossil preparation. I could always upload a full, unedited version, however it'd be many hours long and probably not very entertaining or informative to watch. I think this gives a good overview of the process involved though.
washer is now removing quite a lot of stone around from the fossil itself, around the edge of the ammonite, to make it appear as though it's sat on top of the stone. Revealing the ammonite from the top to see all of the worlds is important, but also revealing the depth of the ammonite is equally important and can be quite a work of art, achieving some pretty impressive looks if you spend enough time with the right tools. Using an even smaller pen now to try and reveal the very, very centre of this specimen. Looks like this one isn't completely preserved to the centre, so Shea is actually trying to create a centre using the pen. This will give the impression of what the centre would have looked like if it had been preserved. It's not far from being finished now, still quite a lot of smoothing off to do around to remove all of the pen lines and also to create a mouth border for the outermost whirl of the ammonite. We're not far from seeing the finished result. Almost ready now. The last details are the ones that often take the longest. So I haven't included those on this occasion. In a moment we will see the final result though, I hope you like it. And here is the final finished fossil. Dramatically improved compared to that last shot of it that we just saw. I think Shea has done an excellent job with this specimen. Pretty incredible that it's in the very early stages of learning how to prepare fossils, but can still achieve results like these. Of course, our dad is teaching us, which is a very big help. Hope you've enjoyed that video. I've now got a little clip of some scenery from a recent fossil hunt. So I hope you enjoy that as well. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.